Hello and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. It's been quite a few days, I think, since the last time we were here, and this is just going to serve as a quick update to our sort of status of the game. Um, I just completed recording the final uh, in this mini series for Against the Storm, and it was short, so I thought we could do a small update for the Planet Crafter as part of this, and then in a few more days we'll come back um, and. Uh, pick up where I am because uh, I'm not really ready at this point to do a whole lot of sort of uh, advancement work but I wanted to just to show you a few things so we're here um, I'm, I'm working on collecting some some butterflies I have a plan for the butterflies that I want to use and uh, what that plan is is a um, is having three of each butterfly I need to take note of the one that I just that one that I just put in there though uh, we already have Amel, Emio, and Serena, three of each of those. Um, the plan is to have three of each butterfly. And I'm just recycling them when we're done, by the way. One of them will be for decoration. Uh, one of each. Uh, come on, pick it up. Sometimes you can't pick up the larvae here very easily. Um, one of them will be for... Um, I need a fertilizer too, and one of these. One of them will be for uh, putting in a uh, butterfly farm. That is uh, this butterfly farm tier two. Uh, and then one of them will be for putting in the biodome. Um, sorry, the butterfly dome with the added bonus of the ones that don't fit in the butterfly domes will go into butterfly farms of the third set. So if that made any sense, um, let's do this real quick and then we can go and uh, show you the rest of the stuff that's that's going on around the uh, around the base here. So I've just been doing doing this generating and recycling and generating and recycling just to try to get all the butterflies that we need three of. Uh, I do have to go out and do some gathering. I um, I did a little bit of that as well, but I have not yet finished it. Um, but we do have uh, butterflies displayed all around the upper part of the base here. Um, one of each has already been displayed. In these, three, these two front rooms, there are three because I'm suspecting I'm gonna wanna put uh, more display cases here because I thought about it and I can put the birthday cake in the display case. And then it's displayed now. So I randomly chose three for this room, one above every door, three for this room, and uh, because of the you know the, the the screens here, one above every door, four for these two back rooms, uh, the one being the sitting room that I showed you the last time. There's the one above the door there. I think that's the golden one. And then right now here's our bedroom, uh, and there's four in here too. And so um, I'm also, I, I tested, and you can indeed put silkworms and um, bees in the, the butterfly display cases too. They're actually an insect display case. So we can put them in there. So I just want to find a couple spots for those. I just tested it just before, just a little bit ago. So I don't, I didn't uh, put them up yet, but we can do that. So I'm going to do that uh, also, but we, um, so I have actually a bee and a few silkworms here, uh, but I'm going to put those up on display as well. And then uh, I did some other work. Uh, let's go to Old Wally Town. I took down most of the pole, although I left a piece of something up there. And I took down most of the base. Now we're going to continue this uh, in, you know, in, in another episode, but when we start moving the fish, I left all the stuff here that contains the aquariums, plus the support post for to climb up there, because that's where the uh, where the aquarium tier twos are. Um, and we're going to do probably something similar with the fish. Uh, put put at least a whole set in the uh, fish farms, and then we'll put some of them on display in aquariums, some of them on display in aquarium tier twos, or you know, in, in the water and aquarium tier twos. Um, I haven't decided how I'm gonna do the fish yet because there are fewer fish, I believe, compared to the um, the, the butterfly larva. There's 18 larva. I think there's only 10 or so fish maybe. But then we're gonna obviously have one each to display as well. So that's on the project list too. And so I kind of just left the parts of the base that are holding those aquariums and the, uh, 
you know, the pillar going up, uh, all intact here. Um, and I'll eventually figure out how to get that down. Um, but that's the old base. Uh, everything else has been torn down. Um, and yeah, other than that, I was just doing a bit of exploration, looking for butterflies, as well as looking for um, um, butterfly, or, uh, or as well as running the butterfly larva through the system there. I did uh, move all the, the, the seeds right here for now. I don't know if this is permanent or not. Um, and we also, I also put the bio lab in here. I'm waffling as to whether to keep it or not, but what I might do is I might put the um, the two crafting tables, uh, where are they at, that we need, uh, here they are, uh, tier two and the advanced, um, somewhere in this space as well, maybe even moving these again out of the way and putting them in this space, I'm not sure, but somewhere in this area. We do still have this entire room free, um, but that's also kind of theoretically for expansion. Um, I did put uh, cobalt and magnesium boxes in here because those are the two that we didn't have somewhere else nearby. Uh, Iridium's still here. Uranium's still here. Um, Osmium's still there and super alloy is still there. And I put the explosive powder in here and I'm planning on putting in a crafting thing for explosive powder. At some point, uh, I need to bring in sulfur and whatever else explosive powder takes. Um, let's go take a look, actually. Um sulfur and iridium here so maybe actually it would have been better in this one maybe I'll, I'll move these over there swap them over either way it doesn't matter horribly um it's just a plan and it's raining inside the building for whatever crazy reason uh there was one other thing here that i just forgot about though that had to do with something to do with that oh yes uh go out on the roof not this roof but this roof I have now two drone drone hubs, drone stations. I'm eventually going to put up two more um, here and here uh, around the, the pillar for the upper upright support there, and um, and then I'll probably go ahead and craft the 100 um, drones that they can all house together, um, and then we'll just see kind of you know what 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 we end up with uh, as far as labor and support on that but we have 32 right now and uh, that means that five of them I guess are on the road someplace doing things I haven't moved any of the um, the drills or any of that stuff yet to any of the other areas um, I haven't done anything with the plants or the trees yet but I just wanted to kind of do some of the the uh, insect generation stuff um, off camera and, and and also uh hunting for them off camera and but i also wanted to, to bring you in and just give you this small update as to kind of where we're at what's going on with with the uh with the base and things um i think we're just going to go ahead and leave this here um and then i'm going to uh continue working on you know working on more butterfly um uh you know creation and or uh hunting or yeah and hunting and um, bring you back in in a couple of more days so we can do some more uh, movement and arrangement work once I have the butterflies all kind of figured out. So thank you all for joining me for this quick update, and I will see you all again uh, next time. Bye for now.